Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install and play Zenless Zone Zero on the Steam Deck within SteamOS Gaming Mode, fast and easy. From desktop mode, open your web browser and search for Zenless Zone Zero with your Steam keyboard, accessed by pressing Steam and X together. Access the official website and we want to download the Windows installer for the Hoyo launcher. Once downloaded, close your web browser and navigate to your Downloads folder. Right click on the Zenless installer and add this to Steam. In the bottom right of your taskbar, right click on Steam and access your library. Find your Zenless Zone Zero installer and we want to add this to our favourites. Click Settings, Properties and under Compatibility we want to assign Proton Experimental. Close the window and launch the installer. If your mouse isn't working, hold the Steam button and this will activate the trackpad again, so you can navigate apps where it doesn't work. When we launch, don't press install just yet. We want to quickly do something important that is going to save us a lot of time. Let's minimise the launcher and Steam and access our home folder. We want to make sure that Show Hidden Files is selected. And from Home, we want to access .steam, Steam, Steam Apps, Compact Data. Staying in this folder, let's make sure our View Mode is set to Details. Tap the Modified tab twice, or until you see the most recent date from the list. We will see that a numbered folder was just created as a result of us launching the Zenless installer. So go inside this folder, PFX, C Drive, and in here we want to access Program Files. Not Program Files x86, we want to access only Program Files. Now go back to the installer, and I recommend using the quick installation. When it starts, we will need to install Visual C++, so accept the agreement and press Install. And once finished, we must close the launcher. Don't launch the game. And come back to our Program Files folder. In here, we now have the Hoyo Play folder, and inside we have a file called launcher.exe, which we are not going to add to Steam, as if we do, and launch, then the game will not be able to install. We want to right click on launcher.exe and choose copy location and go back to Steam where our installation launcher is and click on settings again. Here in the shortcut tab we want to pay attention to the target field. Here with R2 or left click we must drag strictly in between the quotation marks. Highlight everything inside and paste with L2 so that afterwards it looks like mine here. As long as your copied path is the same as mine here, you'll be all good. So move over to the Start In field and highlight everything inside and paste this time without worrying about quotation marks. Except we need to afterwards highlight forward slash launcher.exe and cut or delete. Finally, at the top in our shortcut field, we want to erase or highlight the installer name. Press backspace and type Zenless Zone Zero like so. Once that's done, let's go ahead and start the Zenless launcher for the first time from desktop mode. After a few moments, the launcher will load and your path will display the C drive, which is exactly what we want and with the mouse, or by tapping go ahead, press download. Depending on your internet connection, the game will download in due time, which at the time of this video is 110 gigabytes, but this will reduce after the installation is complete. So, let's fast forward and continue from when the download has finished. You can give the game a quick test run, but here we want to return to gaming mode. Back in gaming mode, Zenless Zone Zero should be waiting for you to easily access. 
So go ahead and launch the game. Press start on the launcher and wait for the initial loading to take place until you arrive at the login screen. With the Steam keyboard, pressing Steam and X, go ahead, type your email and password for your Hoyoverse account, or if you're using Facebook, Twitter, Google, or Apple, log in via the web browser. If you're having difficulty logging in, then go to desktop mode, download Google Chrome from the Discover Store, and try to log in through there. If you're having trouble with this, I'll have a thread in the comments so we can help one another. Once you're logged in, accept the terms and proceed to the game. Now we're playing Zenless Zone Zero on the Steam Deck in SteamOS Gaming Mode, let's take a look at our graphic settings, which for the most part on the deck we can go with so many different combinations, even cranking everything up to high with an uncapped frame rate. Or we can run the game at medium with a 60 FPS limit to keep the gameplay consistent across areas and stages. If you find some settings that are working for you, please comment down below and share with us all as I'd love to try them out if they're working well for you. If you would like to add cover art to Zenless Zone Zero on the Steam Deck, then please check the description where I have a video that will guide you through this process. I hope this guide helped you all with getting Zenless Zone Zero installed on the Steam Deck within SteamOS Gaming Mode. At the time of this video, the game is playable on Linux and the Steam Deck perfectly fine. I hope that everyone will be able to continue playing this game on the Steam Deck indefinitely, although it must be kept in mind that bans could happen even though the chance is low, and also Hoyo could patch the anti-cheat to prevent the game running on Linux in the future. I will be staying up to date regarding Zenless Zone Zero on Linux, and if anything changes in the future, I will update the pinned comment and description with the game's current status on Steam Deck after patches. And I encourage you all to look out for one another and comment if something changes. So let's hope the game stays this way, and if you enjoyed the video, please give me a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel and share this guide with others so they can play the game easily. Until next time, if you have any questions, please let me know. Enjoy the game, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later.